see here for surgery in the morning is the tonsillectomy. Yay. Mr. Green and 620. Another tonsillectomy. He is an adult with obstructive sleep apnea. I need it done right. Oh, I'll get it done right with one hand tied behind my back. Funnier response would have been, I can do it in my sleep. It wasn't trying to be funny, Robin. <clears throat> would you mind a little piece of advice? Of course, from our wonderful former chief of staff. I would welcome any and all suggestions you might have. Well, this really has nothing to do with the hospital. It has to do with saving your marriage. Robin seems a little wound up tonight. Mm -hmm. What happened to the big surprise? Uh, it was a bust. Uh, didn't happen. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Yeah. What about you? How'd you do with Maxie? Oh, lasted all about 10 minutes. What happened? <laughs> Spinelli showed up full-blown psychosis, and she took running off after him. Look, in all fairness, Spinelli is in trouble, you okay? Know, suck it up. Yeah, yeah, you lost out to Spinelli. <laughs> Don't I you have not lost out. Well, it makes the feeling you're better than you have a history. Yeah, it's only natural he cares about her. Yeah, with good reason. He, he just came into this whole persona when he came out of surgery, this Jack P, I think, out of nowhere. What, like he's acting out his book or something? He's just acting weird. The kid's just weird. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, the scary thing is, it's it's not getting any better. It's only getting worse. So what's Maxie gonna help? You know, it's bringing out her nurturing side, which is actually kind of nice. And being the open-minded fella that I am, I said, bring her in, and I'll do a consult with a shrink. So who are they? I don't know. She hasn't called. I think I can top that. I set up Robin on this nice little spa night. You know, I was gonna show up later and surprise her. Mm, inspired. What went wrong? Well, what went wrong is when I showed up, I expected Robin. I walk in there and it wasn't Robin sitting in the chair, it was... I know where you live. Staff can be a really demanding job, and it can take over your life if you're not careful. Well, I don't want to shirk my responsibility. No, but you do want to find a balance. Ah, uh, the plight of every modern working woman. Well, I know that you and Patrick have gone through a lot. I just don't want to see it jeopardize your marriage. Patrick and I are back together, and our marriage is great. He cheated on you, Robin. And that's hard to forgive. Believe me, I know that. So I'm just wondering if you're not being just a little hard on him because there's still some resentment going no, on? No, no. I mean... Okay, please. I'm sorry if I'm getting personal. It's okay. Everyone in this entire hospital knows that Patrick cheated on me, and I know that you're trying to be helpful. But honestly, I have forgiven him, and I'm past that. He's completely proven his love, and... He's being wonderful. Well, good. You be wonderful back. I'm doing my best. Just don't take him for granted. Because family and marriage are a gift. That can't be replaced. We are getting a little bit personal now, aren't we? <laughs> well, okay, I'm sorry. I, it's just... I would give anything to get my family back. I mean it. I didn't appreciate the... The noise and the chaos and the hustle and bustle and, yes, the bickering. Nothing. I, until it was all gone. And now Edward and I would really give anything to see that house filled with quartermains again. So, my advice to you is to treasure your husband and your daughter. And the riches that they bring to you. Then I have a consult. Monica, um, thank you. I think I needed to hear that. Anytime. Hey. Hey. Chief of Staff, aren't you supposed to be off? Are you color coding pens now? No, color coding is done for the day. You are coming with me. Where are we going? Home. Home. I, I can't go home, remember? I have a tonsillectomy with Mr. Green and I have other patients. I've reassigned that to Dr. Marucci. You did? Yes. Okay, I'm not going to complain about that, but I do have other patients. Look, I am the acting chief of staff, and so I'm giving you an order to take a break. Or 
You can remove tonsils the entire summer. No, 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 I don't want to do that. Okay, well then do as you're told, oh. or I'm sorry, ask very nicely, and come home with me. Think we underestimated Robin? Yeah, big time. <laughs> oh. See ya. Emma's in bed, babysitter's paid. It's just us. Yes, it is. Your robe, sir. Wow. What's happening here? <laughs> well, you were so sweet to get me a spa day, which unfortunately I had to duck out on. So I wanted to show you my appreciation by letting us have our own spa night here at home. Just okay, is this, is this part of that bet that I lost? Am I gonna have to paint my toenails or something? <laughs> Maybe your fingernails. Ooh. So this is happening. Mm-hmm. You are about to get a massage of a lifetime. Wow. Very happening. Right after you give me one. You? <laughs> I actually had the spa deliver a massage table and some sensuous oils for us. Mmm. Put in the S in sensuous, aren't you? Have you used that line before? No. But I do appreciate your quick planning. Yes, I am trying to put my excessive organizational skills to use at home. So, why don't you go slip into something a little bit more comfortable? Actually, I think maybe you should help me with that part. Oh, really? Mm hmm <sighs> What would you do without me? I want to find out. Demanding. I'm not being demanding. I massaged you for over the 30 minute a lot of time. I'm not complaining either. So is it time now to argue about who gives a better massage? This feels too good to argue. Wow. That is a first. I must be really, really good at this. Good. This could be a new career for you. <sighs> you would do anything to get me to advocate being chief of staff. Advocate? Does this position hold royal overtones now? <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, fine. Can we settle then for um, Queen of Couples Night? We can settle for whatever you want if you keep going. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, then, as Queen, I am going to implement a new marital procedure. Do you have to be so clinical? Fine, a proclamation then. Mm. I think that we should look at the calendar and pick out dates for just you and I to be together, nobody else, and absolutely nothing, nothing else can get in the way. Mm, that sounds so perfect, but is it practical? Mm. Is love practical? It's possible. Yeah, we've managed that, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Tonight is a perfect example of that. Yeah, it is. It's not over yet. Because we're missing one thing. Oh yeah, what's that? Food. So hungry. Oh, I think we have leftovers in the fridge. No, no, not leftovers. Tonight is a nacho night. <gasps> We're gonna make nachos? Oh yes, you have earned it, Chief. Can we drop the Chief thing? Just for tonight. I'd rather be Mrs. Drake, if that's okay with you. That sounds perfect to me. Okay, you're done. No, 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 not yet. Keep going. Yes, I massaged you for a full 33 minutes, Robin, and I want my nachos. You know there's parts in the world where women listen to men and they keep going when the man says or when it's supposed to be done. Did you know that? Well, they don't know their rights, and besides, um, you would be bored with someone like that. You like me the way that I am. You got me there. <laughs> and I intend to keep you. Mr. Drake. <laughs> I'm very sick of a queen of couples night, but you, mm, king of the nachos. I'm glad you're happy. So happy. So happy. I think I'm ready for the grand finale. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, you smell so good, like almond oil and refried beans. Mm. I find it strangely erotic. 
That's good because we are loose and limber from our massages. have been high. Maybe there's a power line down. Dead. Really? Well, if there's a power outage, I should probably get back to the hospital and make sure everything's all right. Well, yeah, I'll come with you. Wait, what am I saying? I'm sleeping. You're saying you have priorities. Yeah, but the chief of staff should be there if there's a weather emergency. Well, you advocated on power. You're all right. Well, doesn't Mrs. Drake hold any power? Mrs. Drake has all the power. She's a mom. It's the most important position of all. Mm, nicely played. <laughs> you guys take care of each other. I'll be home as soon as I can. All right. The hospital will be fine one night without you. Thank you so much for a wonderful evening. I love you. Let me do. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 